You're on Sunrise Radio with me, Shabnam Sahi. It gives me great pleasure to say a big warm welcome to four eminent doctors who are joining us today for a very special conversation. I have with me Dr. Raghav Bhatia, who is a CRI-funded research fellow based at St. George's. Dr. Jayesh Makan, a cardiologist now based in Shropshire. You are a former CRI research fellow. You're also a trustee of CRI. Professor Sanjay Sharma, who we've spoken to many times before. Uh, you are CRI's consultant cardiologist and professor of sports cardiology and inherited cardiology cardiac diseases at St. George's University of London. And of course, you're also one of the world's leading experts into the causes and prevention of young sudden cardiac death. And last but not least, Dr. Nikhil Chatrat, a CRI-funded research fellow based at St. George's. Gentlemen, it's so good to have you all here. Welcome to Sunrise. You're all running in the London Vitality 10K on Monday. You're going the extra mile to be able to raise funds for this incredible charity, Sunrise Radio, of course, officially supporting this charity this year as well. So let me start with you, Dr. Jayesh Makan, for the benefit of those who don't know about the charity. Why do you think it is important for you to get funds for the work that you do? So CRI's um, main aim really is to uh, prevent sudden cardiac death. Um, and the means by which they do that is raising awareness, uh, funding resources, Research fellows and uh, by screening, and that's really what they've been doing for uh, a good number of a uh, good number of years now. And I've been involved um, with CRI for about twenty years, first as a research fellow, uh, and now um, now as a trustee. Hmm. Um, obviously, in order to to be able to to uh, fund the research uh, that gives us the information on um, on sudden cardiac death. Um, fundraising events such as what we're doing on um, on Monday are really important. Uh, and I've I've always been very supportive of uh, raising funds for Cry. This is I think my third uh, third run for Cry, and I've got the London Marathon coming up as well in um, in October, uh, which I'll be um, which I'll be running for the charity. Um, but um, it's um, it's another great event uh, in order to support uh, support what this charity does. Uh, and if you look at the achievements that have been made uh, over the years, over the last 20, 25 years, it's mm. astounding. There, there, there's been there's groundbreaking research um, that's uh, predominantly been led by Professor Sharma that have really changed the landscape and how we diagnose, manage and reduce the risk of uh, sudden death in young people. Before I get Dr. Bhatia into the conversation, I'd just like to remind my listeners that if you want to help or sponsor the doctors on their run, please visit Just Giving or visit c-r-y.org.uk forward slash Sunrise Radio. Uh, Dr. Bhatia, let me ask you this. How did you get involved with the charity? And also, are you all experienced runners, by the way, or are, are you preparing specially to be able to raise uh, funds for CRY? Thank you very much, Shabnam, and um, a very a big hello to all your listeners. So, um, Shabnam, my journey with CRY um, really began just prior to COVID. Um, I'm a CRY research fellow. Um, primarily based at St. George's and also with the charity um, we screen up and down the country. Um, and I really became aware of the charity first um, during my training. I became aware of the, the quite eminent cardiologist, Professor Sharma, who joined us today, and Dr. Papadakis, who are quite phenomenal in the fields of medical education, um, particularly in sports cardiology and inherited cardiac conditions. And then when I got my training number, so we're talking now back in 2014, 2015, um, I decided to uh, become acquainted with individuals who had been referred to hospital um, with uh, abnormalities identified through the screening program, as well as young individuals um, who had been admitted to hospital with serious cardiac problems. And I really began to understand the gravity of um, sudden cardiac arrest and, and sudden cardiac death in the younger population. Hmm. And I was very keen to diversify my sort of um, medical uh, interests and expertise to really learn more um, about these tragic events, um, to try and really uh, support uh, people up and down the country and prevent such um, events from happening. So I was um, very successful um, in applying for a competitive research grant. Um, and I've been with the charity for a couple of years now. Very much uh, my research involves um, you know, the, the individuals that we screen and trying to better understand um, how we can pick up um, uh, conditions associated with um, sudden cardiac arrest and sudden cardiac death. So in, in answer to your question about the running, um, mm. we do everything as a team really at CRY, whether it's the medical aspects and uh, the, the screening aspects. And, and during the pandemic, obviously, you know, the gyms were closed and we were very keen to remain active um, and, and prevent, um, you know, uh, the complications of a sedentary lifestyle. So we took up running uh, back in February uh, 2021, I think. Um, we ran sort of once or twice a week as a group. Initially, we started off 
you know, six, seven kilometers. We've gradually upped that to 10K once or twice a week. Um, and it's been something that we've all found very motivating. Um, certainly, you know, getting fresh air, you know, running is free. Anyone can do it. Um, and we really, you know, uh, found it very beneficial for us, uh, even with the, with the work that we do and, and, and the traveling up and down the country. It's something that, you know, Nikhil and myself, we've we really, really enjoyed. Um, and, you know, no matter how long we'll be with uh, Cry or at St. George's, it's something that I'm, I'm personally going to continue doing. Um, Absolutely. I mean, it's something that benefits you. And of course, this time around, you're running for a cause as well. I'm joined by Dr. Raghav Bhatia, Dr. Jayesh Makan, Professor Sanjay Sharma and Dr. Nikhil Chatrath, all of them involved with a charity Cry Cardiac Risk in the Young. They're running in the London Vitality 10K this Monday. And they're talking about the incredible work that this charity does. Sunrise Radio supporting Cry in 2022 as well. Let me bring Dr. Chatrath into the conversation. Now, Dr. Chatrath, we know that every week in the UK, 12 young people under the age of 35 die from a previously undiagnosed heart condition. How is Cry's work helping to prevent these deaths? Hi, Shadman. Thanks very much for having us on the show. Um, so, as you mentioned already, so t- you know, 12 um, previously fit and healthy young individuals die suddenly and unexpectedly uh, a week in, in the UK. Um, so by doing our screenings, which normally consists of a, a health questionnaire uh, with each individual that comes to us uh, and an ECG to look at the electrics and the structure of the heart, uh, we can potentially identify previously undiagnosed conditions in these individuals. Um, so on a, on a typical screening day, uh, which, are, which take place all over the country, we'll see up to 100 or so uh, individuals. All of them will have an ECG uh, and a health questionnaire, and we can often um, identify the these conditions. Some of them are associated with a thickening of the heart muscle, some of them with a weak or widening of the heart muscle, and some people with problems with the electrics of the heart as mm. well. Um, so we do hugely recommend that um, people um, subscribe on the website and register their interest and come to one of our screening events. It only takes a few minutes to get screened, um, but it could save your life. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Dr. Makan, uh, Dr. Bhatia, Dr. Chatra. Thank you so much for your time. I'm now going to ask Professor Sanjay Sharma, who we've spoken to, like I said, many times before. What is your take on not just the event on Monday, but um, I know it's exceedingly crucial, especially in a post-pandemic scenario for charities to be able to raise the funds that they need to be able to do all this wonderful stuff. How do you feel about it right now? I feel very passionate about it, Shabnam. Uh, I've been with Cry ever since 1997. Uh, you, you already pointed out that, you know, 12 young people die in England and Wales, who you know, aged under, th- under 35 each week, which is really unacceptable to me. And clearly what Cry has been trying to establish is, you know, why this happens, how we can prevent it, and how we can educate other doctors to look after families who are affected with these diseases. Hmm. We have now found that one in 250 young people actually have a cardiac condition that could potentially kill them. We have identified electrical patterns that can actually help differentiate between normal and abnormal. We've also identified that once an individual is screened at CRY and is identified with an abnormality, around 50% of these individuals have some form of intervention that can actually prevent sudden cardiac death. Now, it's well and good if you're sitting in London because you've got access to the experts at CRY. Hmm. But what about if you're sitting in places like Shrewsbury and Wales and Newcastle and Exeter? And what CRY have done through training these research fellows that you've been speaking to today, they have created 22 consultant cardiologists and created a network around the whole of the UK to help support families that are affected with these cardiac conditions. So what CRY has done is raise awareness, provided good epidemiological data, educated doctors, and made sure that there is an adequate service for families affected by these diseases all over the country. And I, you know, I think clearly this sort of thing needs some sort of funding. CRY is a non-profit making charity. So it relies on situations like this and the kindness of our families and our supporters to raise funds to ensure that this momentum continues. Professor Sharma, thank you so much for that. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. And I wish you all the very best for Monday. You're running in the London Vitality 10K. And of course, this is to raise funds for uh, CRY. Uh, listeners, for more information, please log on to c-r-y.org.uk slash sunrise radio or c-r-y.org.uk forward slash run for research. That is run for research. Dr. Makan, Dr. Bhatia, Dr. Chaturath and Professor Sharma, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Shabin. Pleasure. Thanks, Shabin. 